Hey guys, uh, so I am eight days post-op uh, today. Um, today's Wednesday, I had my surgery last Tuesday. Um, it's been a pretty interesting week. Um, I guess at first, the pain um, is numbed by the, the, the Expiro they give you. Um, in the OR, so for the first like two, two and a half days, you're pretty numb, um, and I really didn't experience a lot of pain until day three. Um, day three, three, four, and five uh, were probably the worst pain. Um, uh, <coughs> obviously, uh, the worst pain is going to be around when you're having a bowel movement, and it was pretty excruciating. I'm pretty realistic when it comes to the zero to ten scale for pain, but. Um, it was a good eight. I kind of reserved nine and ten for getting shot or set on fire or having a really bad broken bone, but this pain was a good eight. Um, and I think it had to do with um, me maybe not doing my uh, my fiber quite as uh, well as the doctor had written. Um, after the first couple of days, I was like, all right, uh, I'm going to take this fiber thing a little bit more seriously and started taking Metamucil twice a day, um, still taking the Miralax once a day. That seems to have helped because the last um, last two, two and a half days have been really good. My pain medication usage has dropped. Um, I only take one, one and a half um, right before I'm about to use the bathroom. Um, and then beyond that, I'm, I'm pretty good. Um, of course, you still have to do the sits baths a couple times a day um, and, and things like that. Make sure everything's clean down there so you don't get an infection. One thing that complicated the week for me was that I actually got, uh, uh, I was diagnosed with strep throat about two days after my surgery. <coughs> so when I went in to have surgery, I had like this post nasal drip. So my throat was a little sore, but I just thought it was allergies. Um, the pollen down here in North Carolina is terrible this time of year, but I got <laughs> progressively got worse. Went to the urgent care and got, they told me I had strep throat or some, something similar to it. So I've been on antibiotics and I finished that today. Uh, so the, the recovery was a little bit worse for me than it might be for you um, because I had pain in my butt and pain in my throat. <laughs> so I told one friend it was kind of like uh, having a hedgehog on each end. It, it hurt. Um, I, my wife has heard plenty of whining this past week, uh, but I think I'm on the upswing. I go back to work tomorrow, hopefully for light duty, if I can find a light duty assignment somewhere in the ER as a nurse. Um, but yeah, I'll make uh, another video here in about a week and see how I'm doing then. Then uh, my follow-up appointment is in uh, roughly two weeks two and a half weeks um, that's when I'll see uh, the surgeon's PA for a follow-up um, yeah uh, I'm gonna ask about pain medication uh, when I follow up just because there is like this kind of like chronic pain throughout the day that's um, kind of annoying but I don't know if it requires narcotic pain meds so I'm just gonna ask him about that hopefully it'll go away by the time I see him uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about the procedure, um, the the, the post-op care, um, the pre-op care, just shoot me a message down below and I'll get back to you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.